Hi guys, I'm Nutrix the Sith Guy and today we're going to talk about the Roland Cloud offer. I did have the interview with the guys from Roland, Dustin and Brendan, and the offer is, is vast and it kind of get, for me, I had to have this talk with them to understand exactly the whole thing. Now, let's bring it back to the most essential part that you need to understand. Roland Cloud is a way to get access to cool sounds. There's different offer on it. There's, of course, you can just pay the whole thing and have access to everything to about like $200 per year. And you get access to everything. And I mean everything. And that's where it becomes really interesting is that part of what you have in the cloud are not just something you can rent. You can also buy. And then you have it as a perpetual license. They kind of, they, they, I think they call it um, lifetime key. That's it, lifetime keys. So if you go back a little bit in time, at one point, Roland, they had the Roland Cloud to actually activate new things in your TR8, for example. And uh, they had the, uh, the cloud, I think it, it came out probably with the ERA synthesizer because plug out was kind of an option for the System 1, System 8, System 1M, if I'm not mistaken, um, and maybe others, but mostly these. And the plug out was the concept that you would have the same virtual synthesizer using what they call the ACB. And if you want to know more about ACB, analog circuit behavior, you need to go here and follow that. The, the ACB technology is what's behind all the boutique sounds outside of uh, the SE02, which is analog. All the other ones are virtual synthesizers and they use the ACB technology. So what you will find in the part that they call the legendary, the legendary are basically plug out. And on some of them, you would see them. If you look here, it's written plug out. It means if you have the plug out feature, it means that this synthesizer can be taken and run as a VST in your computer or you or your unit if you're on Mac and then take that and also use it in your system eight hardware synthesizer. So the logic was basically to give you the option of either going to the studio, working with your laptop, making music software only. And then if you go on tour or you jam with your friends or whatever, you need the hardware, then you can actually have the same sounds, same presets, the same quality of sounds in the two places. And there's also integration. By searching into the cloud, I found that uh, these, the 808 and the 909, if you go at the bottom, they tell you the integration material. It's in French because I'm a French Canadian. Um, you have the 909 and the 808 can actually be controlled by the TR8S that I have here. So I didn't know that, actually. So I can actually program in the computer using it, and when the program is done, sending into the patterns into my, my TR8S, and I can actually use the TR8S front panel to use this as a controller to control the plugin. So they're basically merging the two at one point. So not merging, but giving you more option to combine the two things. So depending on which one you're working on, you can transfer into the other, and that's pretty awesome. It means that if you're today working in, with your friends and you're on hardware, and then you go back to home and then you transfer the stuff in your computer and then you produce more, it, it's part of your workflow. So this is very opening, you know, and give you options. I, I, I think it's really cool. Now. There's, there's this that runs on, uh, and, and, and I mean, uh, you have like the D50. D50 is not a plug out. It doesn't run on, Jup uh, on the System 8, but if you have a D01 or an actual D50, you can actually exchange patches between them. And if you have the D05 um, hardware boutique synth, you can actually use the front panel to control the synth. So, this, this integration is pretty awesome. Uh, and basically, you understand that these are the same algorithms. So if you want to have a Jupiter 8, but you don't have the cash for it like most of it, 
most of us, you go into this and you buy only the lifetime key once. So it's not a rent, you just buy and you keep it. Now, you can also rent not the Jupiter 8 un until, unless you take the uh, ultimate. Now, I have the ultimate because the Roland guys, they're really nice. They gave me this so I can actually test all the features and talk about it. And I'm, you know, thank you, Roland. This is really nice. Um, and, and I'm going to, you know, go through it, try to understand everything and get, give you ideas of what it is. But if you're a synth guy like me and you like to create your sounds and you like to explore the synthesis capacity of a synthesizer, well, having this is pretty awesome because you have a virtual model of a Jupiter 8, you have a Juno 106, you have a TR, a D50, a J, JX3P, you've got the TB303, you've got and then these other, like the 1080, the JV, I've got the JV2080 here, so I don't need this one, but it's pretty awesome to have it. The Pro Mars, that's one I'm really happy to have because it's something you don't find often. Uh, SH-101, I have the 1A01A. Uh, SH-2, again, which is uh, something hard to find on the market. And the System 100, um, semi-modular synthesizer of, of Roland. So all of this is virtual, it's in this VST or audio unit in my computer, but still, I will not be able to use it too much. And I'll show you why, and you'll get it really rapidly. This sounds amazing, because this mimics all the little um, circuit components to very minute details. So it's really, really, really powerful for that, but it's really, really demanding. So if you have a system eight, and you run this, go for it, because it's the best integration, and you're gonna have hardware running this on hardware. So this is pretty awesome. But if you don't have a system, and you just have the plugin, well, let's say I'm gonna use it in, in, in Zen Beats. Okay, I've got kick snare, nothing special, just have something. Add a track, instrument track, I'm gonna go um, System 100, for example. Okay, bring my little keyboard here. Let's do this. I've got a weird sound. Actually, I'm gonna stop that song. I'm just gonna. Let's actually take something that's. This sounds really. Reacts well, works well, it sounds good. Now, look at the CPU when I play it. I'm in the 40%. 45%, one cent. I have an old Mac Mini i5 two core. So that's not a that's not a beast at all. That's just an old computer doing what it has to do. But just one cent takes half the CPU. So I cannot make a song with like three units of this. It doesn't work. It just, it, I don't have the CPU power for it. But it sounds amazing. It sounds. Go, okay, well that's the second one. I'm gonna go, um, and I'm gonna add, uh, let's say, another track. I'm gonna go with the uh, Jupiter. Oh no, I wanna have a System 8. I don't have a System 8. Let's actually load a System 8. Here we go. I don't have one. I would, I mean, it's a pretty cool sound. Look at my CPU, 100%, 100%. These system takes in calculation so many details that that's where the problem is. For me, my computer's not fast enough. If you have a monster computer, you know, or just a recent computer, this is like a six-year-old computer, um, you will be able to run this in a better way than I do. But this is why I think Roland came up with Xenology, to say, okay, these are really, really, really detailed, powerful, 
but too demanding for most people. This is really cool to run on hardware. This is where it shines. This is why it runs on a boutique synthesizer or a System 8 system, a hardware synthesizer, and they sound amazing in these devices. And it runs because it's a dedicated machine. Now, this is not a dedicated machine. This is my computer doing everything else. And on top of what I'm doing now, it's actually recording the screen. So it's too demanding, won't work. So of course I can freeze tracks. If I freeze tracks, I can survive and make it work. But my best option today will be to use Xenology. Because Xenology, let's look at this. Now, of course, these sounds good when it don't crackle. <laughs> I'm at the maximum, it just crackles. This is not the sound it should be doing. So I'm gonna go back just for fun and delete this one. And then we'll play this. It's a little bit better, but it's still, it's still just going overboard. If I delete this one also, let me plug in. I'll go back to three. Three. Just, it's just too demanding. Go back here. Let's try Xenology. Now, Xenology is totally different. Xenology, right now, it's not a pro version, it's just Xenology. You load a sound, you play it. So, for me that loves to tweak my sound and make, you know, sounds from scratch, or have the feeling of having a real, like, Jupiter or SH, whatever it is, this is not fun. This, this screen is just like, these are basically, for me, you load a bank of sounds and, and look at them. I mean, the list is pretty amazing. You get a... So this is pretty awesome. I mean, they sound good. They sound good. And look at the CPU. I don't go over twenty percent. So this is why this is so cool. Is like this is using a totally different algorithm. It doesn't have to detail every part of the synthesizer, even those who I'm not using right now. It's actually saying if you're using all of these parts. Let's calculate not all the parts, but the result. That is what they call the behavior modeling. If you play out these parts, it will create this end result. So right now I'm not playing a specific synthesizer. I'm playing a sound, a cool sound. And for everybody who just want to have access to cool sound and having you know, some control, because you can still you know, play with some part of it. So tailor it. But if you want to do more than, if you want to do sound design like I like to do, you're going to have to wait until fall because they're going to have the pro version. And the pro version will be that. You can create whatever you want. You can build a synthesizer in it. You can combine different algorithms in it. Um, and they're going to have what they called, I'm going to show you that. This is pretty cool. They're going to have, let's look into the membership. That's what you whoop, 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 a pro that's it click on it and then you have the pro version you have all the xenology and then xenology pro and expand a um, model expansion model expansion are a jupiter 8 gx3p sh101 these will be modeled within xenology but then they will not use everything in my CPU on my computer. So people like me who have an older computer will actually be able to play cool sounds. Now, of course, people will say, well, it's not exactly the same synthesizer. Of course not. It's another algorithm. But I mean, they sound good. And I'm really interested in hearing the 
uh, package, the model expansion they have. Because for what I hear up to now, they're cool. They sound good, you know. And uh, again, the logic is to have cool sound to get inspired and make music. I don't need to have the exact replica of an SH-101. I need a cool sound to play with. So it all depends on what you want. If you want the exact replica, it exists. You can take it. If you want something that runs fast and have great sounds, well, Xenology will be the way to do it. So there's really that difference in how demanding this is. Um, and this is super awesome to have something that sounds so good, very little demand on, on running it. So that's, that's basically what this is about, is that you can get cool mileage off a less demanding hardware and have a great sound out of it. And that's why this also runs, if you look at hardware, it also runs on Jupiter X, XM, all of these, not all of this, but, but these are the packs you can have for this. The MX101, uh, MC101707. And uh, some of them are banks. I mean, that's it. If you want to buy something like this, these are sounds and, and, and um, uh, rhythm. And you get an example of the sound. So if you want to buy this, this is going to be like a dollar, one dollar. And then you keep it. It's yours. Now this will appear and it's made to run uh, within uh, different devices. So it can be run on hardware if it's compatible with this one. In the case of the MC it is. So you can load that right into the MC and run with it. Um, but it also can be run on the computer um, as a, uh, uh, a patch of sounds. So this is for Xenology. That's it. So pretty cool. That's it. So this this is the logic behind Synology versus Plugout, and you know I thought that the Rolling Cloud was only a rent, you know, paper month, and that's it. And it's not. You can do that if you want, or you can actually buy the model you want and keep them for life. They call them the lifetime key. So you've got the two options. If you just want to buy a Jupiter 8, go ahead, you can do that. If you find the computer is not good enough, not powerful enough to play it because it is demanding to do the real emulation, because this was built for hardware emulation, high-end quality emulation. And that's what you got in the Super 8, uh, System 8. That's what you have on the boutique hardware. If you're like me and running an old computer, then Synology will be the option. That's it. I hope this is a little bit clearer for me. It was kind of a fuzzy at the beginning and understand how what all the differences of all of these technologies, but um, they all have a reason to be here, you know. And of course, even if I had a better computer, I would still combine maybe one instance of a Jupiter 8 and one instance of a TB03 uh, emulation and then a bunch of, you know, Xenology synthesizer because they would do a cool package all together. So you don't have to select one or the other if you can run the two at the same time. But um, you understand that the CPU need will be totally different. And that's where this is a game changer. On top of the fact that Xenology sounds will be able to move and are able to move easily between computer and some of the hardware of Roland. So pretty awesome. If you want to know more about that part, go click here and see my interview with uh, Dustin and Brendan. And uh, you're going to have more information about it. And there's other videos of Roland coming out soon. My interview was long enough that I can create many videos with that. Stay safe, make more music, and uh, see you soon. Cheers, guys.